Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over our daily technical analysis update for gold and silver. Uh, we'll go over the dollar, 10 year yield, and you know the rest of the precious metals and stuff. So let's dive right in, let's get right into it. This is the DXY. Uh, we've got a, an update today with the wick at the top. We got some resistance. Uh, we're hitting right at that resistance today. Uh, that's that line here, and we got a little wick at the top, meaning there's some sellers. So this could potentially head sideways uh, to lower. I'm looking for a move lower with this bearish engulfing with the day next to it. Uh, but again, we got to see what happens here. The buyers and sellers are duking it out uh, back and forth right at this trend line. Resistance line, trend line. Uh, the 10-year yield rocketing higher today, uh, up 5.32%. Uh, keep in mind that the 10-year yield and oil move together. Gold sometimes doesn't like large moves in the 10-year yield. It likes small kind of moves sideways uh, or slightly higher uh, to get the money to rotate. It doesn't like the huge big bangs sometimes, but uh, it's holding up well for how large the 10-year the yield's been moving up. But oil, oil and energy really likes the 10-year yield moving up like this. Gold, slightly lower, but it's a, I, I call this the, uh, the bloody nose. A continuation pattern to the upside uh, is what I see with this uh, setup here today. And remember, I'm doing this a little bit early. Uh, it's it's 1.11 p.m. It, it, uh, mountain time. Markets close at 2 p.m. Because I got I to gotta run somewhere after this. Silver, another bloody nose, but it's above support. Supports holding, everything looks good for a move higher. Platinum up a little bit today. Uh, Ratio-wise, it's beaten the other two. We're breaking out of this descending wedge. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm going to go buy some platinum here, and I'll be buying more here shortly. Because uh, I, I think we're going to see a move higher here, guys. This is looking fantastic. XAU to gold ratio. It's going to load. Looking great, ready to break to the upside. I like the gold and silver mining companies. Uh, that's what I see in this chart here. Uh, it's a break, a break higher here soon and an outperformance of the gold and silver mining companies. Uh, Corora Resources still moving higher, looking good. Uh, we've got EXK coming up to a little bit of resistance there. We'll see where she goes. FSM, another one that's coming up to a little bit of resistance here. Uh, but still looking fantastic. Sil J breaking out to the upside, getting a little bloody nose today. That's a continuation pattern to move higher. GDX, another one that's starting to break out of its little congestion area to the upside. Still looking good. Uh, MMNGF sitting on top of its support line. Again, this is an exploration company. Uh, it's got, it's going to be lagged behind some of these other leaders. These small guys are. Coyer Resources, another laggard. Discovery Silver, it's another exploration company. It's just sitting sitting back here, uh, trying to break out of its pattern. AG, getting the bloody nose today. Again, the bloody nose is a continuation pattern, usually to the upside. So that looks good. Newmont, it just continues to break higher, guys. This looks really good. Mag Silver, another one that's approaching its resistance. Uh, trend line. Uh, I suspect that this is going to break to the upside. <laughs> Yamada Gold still, still in stride. The cheetah is running. Looks fantastic. We've gone from uh, four dollars all the way to six twenty in what was that two months? Two months or so. Impact Silver still moving sideways with the little bloody forehead nose. <laughs> Aftermath Silver still trying to get a little bit of a break here, getting a little bit of selling pressure. Again, this is an exploration company, going to take some time. Uh, Arcana Gold. Arcana Gold is going up a little bit. Again, still very low in its uh, in its pattern here, looking pretty good. PLG moving sideways, still looking good. Insipinyai, still water. Again, moving sideways, a little bit lower today but doesn't look too bad. The royalty companies, looking at Sandstorm Gold, getting up into the resistance area over here. Getting a, getting a little bit jiggy at that resistance. 
that's what happens. You get there, you pause a little bit, you create basically a cup and handle pattern. Uh, that's what the cup and handle is. It's it's coming into resistance, backing off that resistance, and then breaking the resistance again. Franco Nevada, another one that looks fantastic to move higher. Uh, we've got a break to the upside. I don't know why it's not low. There we go. Now we're loading. But that looks good. Uh, EMX, another one that looks good today. Uh, down here, looks very solid. There's a line coming across here. There it is. There she is. That looks really good. Uh, Tutan Resources, another one that's just been moving sideways is a small little royalty company. Usually goes ballistic at the end um, compared to the, to the leaders. It's always a laggard. Wheat and Precious Metals continues higher. Looks fantastic. Go royalty. Moving higher here. We've got Metalla Royalty as if people are buying this up like I didn't know. Uh, this is general vicinity that I like. Uh, Mavericks Metals moving higher with the bloody forehead. Still looking good. Small down down momentum day. It was up, up day. Royal Gold still way up there. I don't know if I'd be buying it way up there, but I'd be holding on to it. Well, Cisco Gold Royalty OR, it's sitting on top of a breakout. I really do like it up there. And then Altius, yeah, that's another one that's broken out. Still looks good. <laughs> so overall, guys, I think gold and silver look fantastic. That's what I think. Uh, I think that the entire sector is sitting on top of patterns. Uh, it's stuff that I would consider. Uh, if you guys need help picking companies, if you guys need something that you might need to uh, do further research into or ask if you've got some some questions you can bring that to the website become a platinum member and you can ask this saturday we're holding a meeting 7 a.m it's a zoom call i've got everything set up on the website all you have to do is paste a link into your browser and you can participate uh, in the zoom meeting i'm the one hosting it i'm the one might do a little bit of training uh, at the beginning of it and yeah, you'll, you'll learn a bunch. You will learn a bunch. The platinum membership is what gets you that in the finding value website in the description link below. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely attend, ask your questions there. Uh, I'll, I'll present some things, probably talk about portfolio allocation companies that I prefer and stuff. So that's what I got today, guys. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, uh, definitely, uh, share this with everyone that, you know, if you haven't already, and uh, I appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.